Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to IT Snippets. Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to perform an internet login. Hi ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to show you how to import Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome to IT Snippet. Today I'm going to show you how to perform an internet reinstall of your OS X or an internet recovery on this MacBook Pro in front of me. First thing we have to do, hold the control key, sorry, hold the option key and power on the Mac. Option key held, it asks us to select the wireless network. And choose my network and log into it. As you can see, it now says Internet Recovery. So we will select Internet Recovery. It's starting Internet Recovery. This may take a while. Hopefully, since I'm on a 200 meg line. That's not going to take a while. I hope it does. At least I hope it doesn't take a while. Okay, here we go. We're at the installer screen and it says use English as a main language, so we'll select continue. And what we want to do is we want to reinstall OS X. Like that and click continue. Now the version of OS X that was installed in this was Mountain Lion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the OS X install to Mountain Lion and then I'm going to upgrade it to the latest version. So I'm going to click continue. To download and restore OS X, your computer eligibility must be verified with Apple. I'm okay with that, so I'm going to click continue. So here we have the OS X Mountain Lion end user agreement, so I'm just going to click agree and agree again. It's asking me which hard drive to install it to, so the Mac hard drive is the one that I created earlier on, so I'm just going to click continue. Basically, a blank. 500 gig hard drive that is inside this Mac that I placed that you will have seen me done in one of my earlier videos and we're just going to let that recover Okay, as we can see that it's actually started to reboot for the first time, so we'll wait and see what happens now. And there we can see the install OS X installer has actually kicked in. And it says it's going to take about 20 minutes. I'd easily give it maybe five times that. I'll be lucky if that will be installed within like two hours compared to my previous attempt at this, but who knows, it might actually be able to calculate now and uh, might actually be able to calculate it correctly. We shall find out soon enough.
All right, it says that the installer has succeeded. Go to restart. Let's see if we now have a working OS X installer, be an old one. Okay, so we're now at the clean OS X installer. It's asking me to select my region. Apparently I'm in the United States, so no. I'm in the United Kingdom. Continue. British keyboard, yep, continue. Let me connect to my Wi-Fi address. Network, sorry. I'll select my Wi-Fi and enter the password. And click continue. I don't want to transfer any information just now, so I'm just going to click next. I'm not going to enable location services, so I'm just going to click continue. I'm going to click don't use at the moment. Asking me to log in with an Apple ID. Okay, I'll have to. I don't know if you can see. I might have to blur this out in post, but. Okay. Okay, apparently I'm getting a server error at the moment when I try and log in, so I'm just going to skip that for now. Am I sure I wish to skip it? Yes, I do, for the time being. In terms and conditions to agree with? Well, I guess I'm just going to have to click continue and agree. Full name for the time being, I'm just going to go with my own name, Davy. Password. I'm just going to let it all log in for the time being because this is just for testing this and click. My time zone should obviously be UK. Oh, it's like Northern Ireland. There we go. Leeds. Leeds. Seriously. Is Edinburgh here? Oh, Glasgow's there. Edinburgh's there. Cool. Click Edinburgh. And click continue. I don't want to register my product with Apple just now, so I'm just going to skip that. And again, I can start using the Mac now, apparently. So I'll click a little arrow to continue. And here we are very old, very dated looking version of OS X. See if we get internet access. Seems to be running quite slowly, but it is working. Go to the app store. It would ask me for my Apple ID. Hopefully it's working. The upgrade to Mac OS Sierra. Click on that. And that's downloading it just now. So what I'll do is I'll reinstall this and then we'll see how it goes. If you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike this video, give it a dislike too. If you get feedback in this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. And most of all, thank you for watching.